Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. And yeah, Ans Cleanse luckily is actually back up now, so he, he will be totally fine if something potentially comes through. But hell, even then, if Chocho hits 6 now, cleanse the arrow, you're just going to get flashed on by Beichuan. Oh, flash for flash here, Wink knocked back here. True shot barrage goes wide, but it will not matter. First blood taken by 1XN. A very patient play from TT, but it pays off in the end. And I feel like these are the types of plays where, I mean, right, that they know the the uh, rubs were going on, even the second Hoya left the lane. So, been a nice job surviving till now. We'll see if they can outplay with the summoners they have. Yeah, they do have their summoners. And that's going to be a stun going in. Chocho, the target flashes. Tianchen gets on top of him. Wink tanking up forever as 1XN gets back under the tower. But on so low on this one. Tianchen going to tank it now. It reset on the minions as well. It's a perfect dive from IG. What, right? what great execution. I kept expecting that to go horribly wrong. Just with how well TT were kind of playing around some of those angles. Not a lot of time. Crying? Oof. Does it manage just to find it? Now be in a lot of trouble. Wink moving over, potentially ganking his own lane here. And on will start to crash this. Oh no, Brian's here, Tianjin's here. The focus on this bottom side. You asked for more focus on the Draven, and boy, your IG delivered. Crying cuts off the wave, whirling death in. Look at that damage. Unhappy to get another cash in. Three and zero on the Draven. Plane coming out from TT so far on these dives when, like, the, the play is completely doomed. Don't throw away Summoner as well. But IG, 2,000 gold ahead at this point. They're feeling strong, but TT are actually going to be able to get this Herald anyway. Ooh! They're not looking for a Herald, though. <laughs> They're looking for a juicy little Ezreal. Great <laughs> stun coming on through. And a beautiful follow-up from Tianzhen. Looking for Jojo as well, but he's uh, he's wise and uh, heading towards what looks like an edge of nine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess it would make a lot of sense. Us to love collector finished up Ron. Oh, this is when Draven starts feeling really huge. His flank coming out from Poya. Wow, that damage onto Tianjin. He's basically one shot. Crying just what just happened to his jungler. Luckily for TT, still gonna be able to cover both lanes, or will they not? Oh, YSKM wants another solo kill, but Yukal just walks away. Tries to clear the wave, the Whirling Death is in. On's arrived, the whole team has come into the scene here. And On takes one turret shot for his trouble, but they're happy with that one. And in, in the meantime, the other mid laner's in trouble. Hoya will be the one to finish that kill, and it is not a good day to be in a mobile mage. No, I'm crying. Herald play comes out from TP. He's going to be able to open up mid lane turret as well. Three turrets. He also... Oh! Big flash! Okay. Uh, what was bolt. that? Bolt from Beitra. Both junglers get one shot. Oh, Hoya! Massive damage on the back line. YSKM goes in, but that's a lot of damage that they can do to him. Crying. Hit by the volley. Drake spawning in 13 seconds. Neither team has a jungler. No ultimates available here as Hoya. More edge of knights, right? Uh, cause I think just being able to dissuade that Ash Arrow is going to be a big difference maker for IG to be able to survive. Oh, going for Cryon, he flashes in a straight line and Hoya is instantly there to capitalize. What a pick coming out from TT. That might just open up a Baron. Mid laner down, his TP. Nothing goes down under their noses, but TT are doing their best to clear those out as quickly as they can. I just love that we've got this, uh... Ash versus Varus support match up. The stun lands, the roots are there to follow it up. Knocked back, the shockwave dodged by the ultimate. He jumps back out again. Can he escape from this one? Mage one can't close the gap, but 1XN can. Yukal is junk though, crying, trying to get that damage down. Rogan already, IG. Just Ooh, walks in. Has ult. Full vision was there for TT. Beach one throws out those roots. Can he follow it up? He's out of range for the W. Has to flash over the wall. YSK and pulled in. Go commits to the ultimate just to try and trade. Wink recall. He loses Wink. his own life. Hoya trying to find more. Wink and crying in a really awkward spot now. The TP denied as well. Crying will fall. And Wink has nowhere to run. Supports all combat as he tries to take out Jojo. But there's no chance arrows and it just leads to less barons yeah. on the side of ig that could have been i think a one member loss for ig ends up being a three 
Yeah, I feel like with the empowered recalls as well, you could just run. Yeah. Oh, Kryon's caught out. No, oh my god, the Q damage from Oya is obscene. That was like half of his alpha for one Q. Ashiro's are like just the biggest annoyance with the fact that they have to catch sides against the Aatrox. It's like, like you said, like sure, there's a bunch of other CC like, like the Maokai, like stuff like that. But when you're alone, you are just going to die. Yeah, so long range. They find it. The roots coming through as well, and they found on. That's cleanse burns. Next time an arrow's up, on is in trouble. The weavers wall will buy it. Absolutely. These teams feeling like they were at, like feel like they've shown us like a similar level of highs and lows, uh, so far. Even if the frequency at which they've shown them has been, been a bit different, right? Considering TT one and two, IG two and one, but now IG, Ashu more aggressively. They found a ping. Beach one is the target. Jungler could go down here. Whirling death to finish it. And another cash in for Arn. And now an opportunity for IG. They could get a Baron off the back of this. It's Chemtech's all pick. As Hoya has got a Sterex now. He's got that spell shield too. Hang on. There. Oh. That's an Ezreal. The wall's not going to do a whole lot to catch him. As now TT move in. And Tianjin engages. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, Tianjin down. I mean, hey, yeah. You're running away, now what? Yeah, no, I, I, sorry, I wasn't meaning in reference to what you said. I was more just meaning like, yeah, I don't know. You were just weird, you were just one, weird one, weird uh, one. Tianjin basically one shot again here as one extent goes upwards into play. YSKM is doing big damage on the backside. Yukal's low. One XM was just waiting for him. He's trying to 1v1 this Yone, but I don't know if he wins that 1v1. In the meantime, Hoya has taken over the game. 8 0 and 3. And showing us why they picked this Aatrox. And just showing that this was a much better game to go for the Aatrox. Go this build. And I mean, you have your pick of the litter in terms of squishy champions that you just destroyed. Absolutely fantastic stuff coming out from Hoya. And that's going to be game. That is going to be TT pushing us to three. It was a tough win. It was a slog for them. Losing two Barons on the way, but still getting the win. These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.